Okay guys, next up in the new Ham Workshop series, which is a playlist I created um, for YouTube a while back. It starts out with the technician classes I did and it does several things about what's the best HT, what's the best mobile radio. Today we're gonna talk about what is a ham radio repeater. You get to hear that term a lot. If you've not gone through your technician test yet, then you might not understand what it is, but even if you've gotten your technician license already and you haven't actually used a repeater, maybe you still have questions about it. We're going to discuss that today on Ham Radio 2.0. Shut up and sit down. Hey guys, this is Jason, KC5HWB, and on this channel we do reviews, news, and how-tos of many things that are new in amateur radio, which includes you as the operator. If you are a new operator in amateur radio, then this episode and this series of videos is made for you. So today we're going to talk about what is a ham radio repeater. If you've come from the CB radio world or the FRS radio world, those little Motorola talkabouts that you buy at Walmart and Bass Pro Shops, and they've got the funky tones on them when you turn them on and you unkey them, and they go <laughs> at the end of every transmission. Uh, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. In fact, I've done several videos on uh, FRS and some new uh, Radiodity FRS radios and whatnot, and I've got two or three others over there that I'm going to do as well. Um, all about the two-way radio communication. Nothing wrong with that at all. But Unlike CB radio and unlike FRS radio, in amateur radio, along with GMRS, I've done some videos on GMRS as well, GMRS and ham radio operators are allowed to use repeaters. Now, what is a repeater? A repeater is basically a radio. It's a two-way radio, usually not an HT, although you can build a repeater out of an HT. It's a two-way radio usually on top of a tower, maybe on top of a building, on top of a water tower, something like that, that's got an antenna at the top of that structure. Two or three or 400 foot radio towers for television stations and, and uh, AM and FM broadcast stations will sometimes have ham radio repeater antennas on them. And the antenna's at the top, but the radio may be down at the bottom in a shack or in a building or something like that. If you're on top of a really tall building, a skyscraper, there's several um, tall buildings in downtown Dallas that have, repeat, have all kinds of radio antennas on top of them for various things. So what this does is, this is a radio that is meant to set up and repeat your transmission. Okay, so it take when you key up the repeater, basically you have to program your, your radio, your mobile radio or your handheld, and when you key up, that repeater hears your signal and it broadcasts it out through that big, tall antenna on top of that building. Okay, generally speaking, repeaters are higher power. They can be 50 watts, which a lot of your mobile radios are 50 watts too. Uh, they can be 100 watts. They can be a couple hundred watts. You can have 500 watt repeaters. Um... And the power output is, a, is an important part of how far the repeater reaches out. But more important than that is how high up is the antenna and how good is the antenna. Uh, you're generally not going to take a 1,000-foot tower and put a crummy $50, $75 used antenna you bought at a, ham, at a swap fest on top of that repeater. You're going to get a good commercial-grade DB Products antenna as one good brand maybe some other kind of commercial brand antenna, you know, you might spend a few hundred dollars on a good antenna, but if you're going to put it a thousand feet in the air, then what that does is that allows you to use your four or five watt handheld radio and key up that antenna that's a thousand foot in the air that way. And when it hears your signal, it repeats or retransmits it in all directions because most, most repeater antennas are omnidirectional. So they're a vertical antenna that it transmits in all directions equally. And people for miles and miles around are going to hear you talking on your HT because you're going through that really big, tall repeater. It doesn't have to be a tall repeater. There's a lot of guys that have repeaters up on 50-foot towers. 25-watt repeater on a 50-foot tower is still going to be better than you standing at ground level with this little rubber ducky antenna, what they call a rubber duck antenna, stock antenna, stock HT antenna, talking on four or five watts. You're not going to get out as far 
on this as you would even on a 50 foot off the ground repeater tower with a 20, 25 watt repeater attached to it. So a repeater allows signals to be retransmitted in multiple directions, omnidirectional usually, by people driving around in their mobile radio stations, people on handhelds. You get a lot of repeater activity usually during drive times in metropolitan areas. People are driving to work at like 6.37, 7.30 in the morning, and they're driving home between 5 and 7 in the evening. And usually during the drive time, people will talk to one another. They'll key up their radios, and talk about how their day's going, talk about what's going on, what's happening, where they're going today, if they're not going to their office, you know, that kind of thing. And guys will sit at home and talk on the repeater to all these guys who are driving to work. And they're like, well, I work from home, but I like to talk on the radio. So I'm going to get on the repeater during drive times and talk to these guys who are driving back and forth. So a ham radio repeater extends the range of your radio through the use of tall buildings, towers, structures, and antennas on top of those buildings, towers, and structures so that you can use your 5-watt handheld radio or your 50-watt mobile radio and reach out even further than you can natively. So the real reason that I recorded this video, this, is going, this video here is going to lead into another video that I'm about to record uh, that answers what is a ham radio hotspot. So I'll go ahead and link that video right here, and I'll have to post these videos kind of together, which is not a problem. 73 guys, thanks for watching. If you have any more comments about what a repeater is, this is a very generalized overview, okay? Um, one thing I'll also I'll say, if you have an amateur radio license, doesn't matter what class, if you have a technician or higher license, um, the, only the only way to get a lower than technician license is if you've had a novice license for years and years and years because they don't have that license class anymore, but people who might still have that license class can still use them as long as they renew it every 10 years. But if you have a technician class license or higher, you can purchase and put up your own repeater because anybody with a ham radio license, technician or higher, can put a 2 meter or 440 or 220 or 900 megahertz repeater on the air, put your call sign on it, put it up on a building on a tower somewhere, and then tell people about it and say, hey, everyone get on my repeater. We'll talk in the morning. So that's uh, one reason why repeaters are so prevalent in uh, metropolitan areas because uh, once you pass your first technician license test, you can put up a repeater if you want to. So let me know if you have any more questions about repeaters. Let me know if you have any more topic ideas for the New Ham Workshop. 73, catch you guys next time.